Welcome to the Jag War Podcast, a show where we discuss all things related to Duval County's finest NFL football team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Duval, baby! Hey, hey, everybody, it's Andrew, and welcome to episode 99 of the Jaguar Podcast. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a discussion of some of the position grades that I've made for the Jacksonville Jaguars. So uh, before we start, though, quick kudos to all of our healthcare workers, uh, you know, doctors, nurses, uh, police officers, firefighters, servicemen and women. Thank you so much uh, for your uh, service and keeping us safe through this uh, coronavirus crisis. Really appreciate it. All right. So let's jump into it. Some of my grades for the Jacksonville Jaguars positions, um, you know, let's start off with quarterback. I gave the position a B minus. Um, you know, I think Gardner Minshew had a great rookie season. Um, Just heart and balls, man, heart and balls. Still has a lot to prove uh, for the Jags. Um, needs to work on ball security. Uh, he did, you know, kind of uh, get sacked a couple times and fumbled the ball. Uh, some of that's due to the offensive line as well. Um, we need to make some improvements there, but um, you know, I think Gardner Minshew has a lot of potential, and I'm really excited to see what he will bring for the 2020 season. Uh, we did have some draft picks. Um, you know, we we drafted uh, Jake Luton, quarterback from Oklahoma State. Um, I think he has a lot of potential as well. Um, you know, I think he'll probably be a backup, and he'll probably just learn the offense and and learn you know, just how to play in the NFL in general. Um, But I think he's got a lot of potential. The Jags signed uh, veteran, you know, Mike Glennon. I I don't know. You know, I think, I don't even know if he's going to make the team, honestly. I don't think he's, uh, you know, much to write home about. Um, We got him from Oakland. Um, I wasn't impressed. You know, I think it's maybe a battle between, you know, Josh Dobbs and Mike Glennon or, you know, uh, for that for that third spot um, so we'll see what happens but yeah the Jags uh, you know I think have done pretty decent um, considering the Nick Foles fiasco um, Minshew has stepped in and done pretty well so I give the the position a B minus we go to running back um, I gave the running back position an A you know Leonard Fournette has proven that he is that that versatile back you know he can catch passes, you know, he could run the ball really well. Um, and I, I think he's just done a great job. He's gotten a lot of hate from Jags fans. Um, I don't know why. I just don't understand it. It's kind of crazy, you know, honestly. Um, he did very, very well considering what he had to work with. I mean, he was in John D. Filippo's offensive scheme, you know, and everybody knows John D. Filippo doesn't really like to run the ball. So, um, you know, De Filippo had him lining up in the slot, um, catching passes. I mean, the guy had over a thousand yards rushing and 522, um, I believe it was 522 yards receiving, um, and with a really bad offensive line, um, and just in a bad scheme in general. So I think he's done great. Uh, he'll continue to be, uh, you know, a powerful player for the Jaguars. Uh, he played 15 games last season, so proved that uh, he's more durable. Um, I just, I just think if he stays healthy, he's really a weapon for Jacksonville, and uh, I think he's done a great job. Um, we also have a lot of great depth at the running back position. We have Chris Thompson that we picked up in in the off season and free agency. You know, he's a receiver's back. Um, He's, he's a weapon. Kind of reminds me of TJ Yeldon, um, but he's uh, he's going to be a, another weapon for Gardner Minshew. And, um, you know, we have uh, backup running backs as well. We have, um, you know, uh, Rock Armstead, and then we have, uh, you know, Devin Ezekbo as well. So, yeah, pretty strong at the running back position, so gave it an A. All right, we go to wide receiver. Uh, I gave this uh, position a B. Um I think we're okay at wide receiver. I mean, we have DJ Chark, and he's been phenomenal as a number one uh, go-to guy. Um, you know, we have Chris Conley as well and D.D. Westbrook um, that add depth to uh, the wide receiving core, you know, as well. We, we drafted LaVisca um, Chenault, you know, from Colorado, and then we drafted Colin Johnson. 
Um, and then we have Keelan Cole as well. But, um, you know, I think uh, Chenault and um, Johnson are really going to be uh, players to look out for. Colin Johnson has great size. I mean, he's huge. Um, I think his real problem is staying healthy. So, uh, you know, he's had some injuries. But, um, you know, I think, you know, wide receiver position is a, a B at the best. But, um, yeah, not not too bad there. Uh, tight end, uh, I gave a B minus. Um, you know, I think the big question for the tight end position will be durability. Um, you know, can our tight end stay healthy? We have Tyler Eifert, who's had some injury, you know, problems. We picked him up from Cincinnati. Uh, but he he's a weapon. Uh, and then we have James O'Shaughnessy. Um, you know, he got hurt with a with a – believe he was an ACL injury, uh, but he would have had, I believe, a breakout season if he had stayed healthy. Um, he's, he's just a great talent. And then we have Josh Oliver, who we drafted. Um, so I think it'll be between those three guys. Um, but, you know, durability is just the big question. Uh, and that's why I gave it a B minus. All right. So we go to the defensive side. Uh, excuse me. We go to uh, offensive line. And, um, I gave that position a C, uh, the offensive line has just not been very good, uh, for Jacksonville really, um, you know, at the left tackle position, it's just been, you know, Cam Robinson just did not play as well, uh, this season. Um, he's had some injury trouble You know, I believe he missed the first game of the 2019 season, um, with some knee, you know, knee problems, um, Really, the strongest points of our offensive line are probably Brandon Lindner at at, at center, Jawan Taylor at right tackle, and then you know Cam Robinson's um, at left tackle. Um, you know the interior's just been terrible. Andrew Norwell, he just did not play well uh, last season. I don't know why we still have him on the team. We should have traded him out of there. Um, AJ Ken, uh, he's not been very good either. Um, so, you know, I think, you know, we got Ben Barch in the draft there, there's some rumor that, that he's going to be moved down to guard. Um, that could work. I mean, I think, uh, it'd be a nice place for him to get some experience. I don't know if left tackles are uh, the tackle position is really suited for him. Um, cause he used to be a tight end and he was converted to, to tackle, you know, at St. John's. So, um, We'll see what happens there, but uh, I give the offensive line a C. I think we could have done much better in the draft. I've said pre in my previous episodes that we should have gone with Makai Becton at left tackle, but um, that's water under the bridge at this point. So, um, yeah, the offensive line gets a C. All right, now we finally get over to the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, the secondary, I gave a B-. minus. Um, you know, we did, you know – uh, draft some, um, some nice uh, corners and safeties in this draft, CJ Henderson, um, you know, Josiah Scott. And then, um, I believe we got Andrew Thomas from Auburn, uh, or excuse me, Daniel Thomas from Auburn. Um, so yeah, the corners, I think really got a bump up there with CJ Henderson. Um, you know, Trey Herndon, he's, you know, played recently last season. So, um, yeah, I'm, you know, I think Josiah, Josiah Scott is really going to be someone to look out for. Uh, this guy just looks like he has uh, a lot of potential, plays hard. Um, I loved, you know, watching some of his highlight reel. He's got a lot of potential, and I think he's got a lot to prove at the corner spot. Um, so then we go to the safeties uh, position. Ronnie Harrison and Jared Wilson were pretty strong there, but we did pick up, uh, you know, Daniel Thomas from Auburn. I think he uh, could be a breakout player. He, he has some really nice hits. Um, reminds me of uh, Donovan Darius. Um, really brings the wood. And uh, I think he could be a breakout player. All right. Then we go to the defensive line, which I gave a B minus. Um, definitely made some improvements in this draft. Uh, you know, we uh, picked up, I believe it was Devon, Hamil uh, Devon Hamilton um, at the uh, defensive tackle spot. Uh, which really hasn't been a strong point for Jacksonville, uh, you know, last season. Uh, I think with the departure of Marcel Darius, uh, we had a lot, uh, you know, to to 
a big void to fill. Um, Taven Bryan, you know, hadn't played, you know, historically very well either. He had an okay season, but I think he's really going to be playing for his job. Um, you know, Avery Jones has been pretty reliable. Um, but we did pick up some, some players in free agency. We got Al Woods, uh, Rodney Gunter, uh, which I think will add, um, some nice depth at the defensive tackle position. Um, so yeah, um, Devon Hamilton too from uh, Ohio State. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what happens, um, kind of where Taven Bryan kind of uh, falls into the mix and uh, Dontavious Russell as well, who really didn't get too much playing time uh, last season. And then we go to uh, the defensive um, defensive end position. Uh, Josh Allen, he's really been the shining star uh, on this defensive line. Um, uh, you know, Caleb Von Chasen, he was drafted. We drafted him from LSU. Um, he will, you know, all eyes will be on him because he's, uh, kind of filling the, uh, void that was, uh, left, uh, by Calais Campbell when he was traded to, uh, the Ravens. So, um, yeah, it'll, there'll be, you know, Devon, Dewan Smoot will be, you know, likely stepping up this year. Uh, he played very well last season at six sacks. So it's a contract year for him, and he's I, I really see him stepping up and having more of an impact uh, for uh, uh, the, the edge rush as well. All right, so we go next to, I believe it's our linebacking core. Yep, our linebacking core. I gave that position a B-plus grade, uh, a lot of upgrades at that position. Um, we got Joe Schobert from the Cleveland Browns. Uh, this guy really flies around. He's making plays. Um, you know, rem reminds me of Paul Puzlesny and 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 Telvin Smith, and uh, I think will really help us at the middle linebacker position. And I think now we're going to be able to move you know Miles Jack over to weak side linebacker, which is really his spot. And um, we we also really upgraded in the draft. Um, we got Shaquille Quarterman from uh, Miami. This guy is just really fast. He flies the ball, um, really good tackler. And I think is going to add a lot of depth for this Jacksonville Jaguars, uh, linebacking core. I also think we're strong on the outside with, uh, you know, Quincy Williams and Leon Jacobs. Uh, Quincy Williams has a lot of potential. Um, he's just flying around. He's a great athlete, um, made some really nice tackles in, uh, the second Tennessee game. Uh, last season, uh, Leon Jacobs, too, great tackler. So um, a lot of potential there as well and a lot of good depth uh, on the outside. All right. So then we finish up with special teams, which I gave an A. And I think that's pretty pretty obvious. I mean, Josh Lambeau has just been incredible as our, our place kicker. Um, just uh, not much more to say than that. I mean, he's just helped us win a lot of games. He's been very consistent. Logan Cook, our punter, has been, you know, very good as well, um, very consistent. And then I think, you know, with some of our uh, free agent, uh, free agency um, additions, uh, like Terry Godwin, uh, who I'll think um, will probably be a good, um, you know, kickoff return guy. Um, I think I think we're going to be, I think we're pretty solid on special teams. So gave it an A. You know, let me know you, how you feel about my grades. Um, leave me a comment on the YouTube video or podcast episode. If you enjoy this video, uh, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. This is a podcast, so come by Apple Podcast. Uh, leave me a review on Apple Podcast. It always helps me when I put together these episodes. Um, subscribe to the channel again. Uh, stay away from the coronavirus. Stay safe. Go Jags, and I'll see you next time. Could hear it in our ground. Intimidation on to keep their hearts racing. Meeting other teams live on TV front of the nation. Spectacular defensive scheme. This episode is available on the Jaguar Podcast YouTube channel. So if you stop by, make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Also, these episodes are available on iTunes, Podbean, Spotify, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and other major podcast distributors as well. So if you don't mind, please leave me a review and some feedback. I'd really appreciate that. If you'd like to connect with me on social media, my Twitter handle is at Jaguar Podcast. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram.
This is Andrew signing off. Cheers. Cheers.